Oilers hosting the Hurricanes, and the Hurricanes are minus 102 on the money line. The Oilers are minus 115. The over-under, six and a half goals. The Hurricanes getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 240, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Oilers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 195, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. It's supposed to be Ranta and Skinner, but neither of the goaltenders have been confirmed. They did play each other on November 22nd in Carolina, and the Hurricanes won that game 6-3. to Head-to-head, -head, the Hurricanes are on a two-game winning streak. They are 7-3 and against the Oilers in their last 10. The home team is on a four-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The favorites won the last four games. They played against each other. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The favorite, winning by multiple goals on the puck line, laying a goal and a half is 6-4. and four. There have been two one-goal games in their last 10. The over's hit in their last three. The over is 7-3 and three in their last 10, and the over six and a half goals is 7-3 and three in their last 10. The over-under is 12-12 and 12 in the Hurricanes games, and the over is 12-8-2 and two in the Oilers games. The Hurricanes are 2-2 two and two in their last four. The over-under is 2-2 two and two in those games. Five goals. Total, nine goals total, eight goals total, three goals total. Four goals and a win, four goals and a loss, six goals and a win, one goal and a loss. For the Oilers, they figured out how to put it together. They're on a four-game winning streak. The over-under is two and two in those games. Five goals, eight goals, five goals, and three goals. The total was uh, five, ten, nine, and four. They scored five in a win, eight in a win, five in a win, and then three in a win. I still don't trust them, though. I understand that they're scoring now. It took four goal. It took five goals for them to beat the Knights, and I keep saying this that they can't have to score four goals every night and beat the team that they're playing. I'm gonna take the Hurricanes with the money line. I'm gonna take the Hurricanes getting the goals, and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.